Now that we know our way around the Onyx interface, let's go patch our first fixtures. Heading up in the corner here to the Onyx menu, we'll then choose Patch. This is the patch screen. It's, it's got just a few basic components. On the side here, we can switch between some common tasks. We'll be staying in patch for now. In the middle here, we'll see a spreadsheet of our lights. And on the side, we have some options for getting access to different lights and fixtures. To begin patching, we'll go to Commands and New Fixture. This launches the patch wizard, which is definitely the easiest way to patch. Now, by default, we're looking in the standard library, but do note, and we'll see this in a minute, that when you go back to patch about the third time, it'll go to the patched types here at the bottom and might look unfamiliar, but it's really all the same window. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to patch the same lights that are in the demo show that uh, are available from Obsidian Control Systems that are in, built into Onyx. We'll, we'll talk about that later when we talk about the visualization file. For now, let's go ahead to Elation. So we're going to go DE, scroll down until you find Elation, Going to first patch some Artiste Da Vinci's. So same thing here, just scrolling down until we find the name. And they're going to be in standard mode. Then we'll press auto patch. Next, we're able to name these. We can name these if we wish, or they're just going to be named after their type, Artiste Da Vinci standard. We select our amount. We can use the plus and minus arrows to work this control. We can double tap and type. For example, I want 11. Or we can actually press and type on a number pad if your computer has a number pad. The numbers over the keyboard don't work for this, so if you're on a laptop that doesn't have that, etc., just be aware of that. Then we have the ability to set the start ID, universe, address, and footprint. Now, for a lot of these, you'll leave these on automatic. However, I always like to set the start ID as most uh, professional lighting designers do. And whether you're a professional or a hobbyist at this, I recommend doing it and starting each light at an 01. So this being my first moving head, I'm going to start it at 101. Not only does this match the training file, it's how I was taught to do things and it helps you stay organized. Now, we had to click it out of automatic mode, but we're going to leave the universe and address in automatic mode because we want those to start at the beginning. Now press apply and across the top here, you may have seen it figuring out everything, running the patch, and now we see it in our window. Let's patch another set of lights. Commands, new fixture. This time we're going for the Elation Fuse Wash, DEF, and it is the uh, Z350, so going for this one. It is the 15 channel, and there's gonna be 11 of them. So same process as before. Going to make these at 201, leaving everything else on automatic, pressing apply. You can see how this can be pretty quick. Next, we've got commands new fixture, the Elation WW Profile 1 channel. Now, this is a really good opportunity uh, to mention a couple things. One, we noticed that this window, when it popped back up, uh, is in the patched types window, but the standard library is still there. Number two, is we're patching a one channel fixture here. Okay, we can do that from the Elation library, but I wanna show you the generic fixture. So if we go to G and go to generic, we then have all of these different generic type fixtures that can work for a lot of lights. For example, individual dimmers or channels are just the fixture called channel. You'll also find if you're working with LED lights, uh, particularly you know non-moving LED lights, if you go down here to PQR and to R, we've got things like RGB, RGBAs, RGBAW, UVs, all that kind of stuff. So if you're working with a light, maybe you don't find it here, uh, a generic will often work for you. Let's go ahead, patch channel, GM enabled. Then we're gonna go ahead and patch five of these at start ID one and apply. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and do our next fixture. So commands new fixture. This time we're going to the Elation Darts 360. So D, E, scroll down, whoops. You can always hit escape to clear your command line or clear. We'll try that again. Let's see, I'm not the only one. Everybody uh, hits a wrong key every once in a while. 
and the darts 360 first one under d we're going extended auto patch and we are going to have 12 of these guys at 401 and this time we're starting at universe 2. now we can still leave address on automatic even though we've turned universe onto manual mode okay um, it's just going to choose the first address within that universe which in this case as we can see from the visualization here it's at one boom apply to patch now we've got one more set of lights which are our commands new fixture elation color chorus now the color chorus here in the standard library is going to bring up some interesting options that that are very important to look at to, to, to understand just a little bit about okay so this is the 72 and we're running it in 48 channel mode now you see here this option that popped up when i chose 48 channel mode it says virtual dimmer off okay now this is an option that you're going to see and i advise turning it on most of the time you see it um, and what it's saying is that okay this is a light that has red green blue and amber leds in it and this dmx profile has red green blue amber red green blue amber etc etc it's a uh, 48 channels and it's what six sections and so that's four channels each there's no intensity channel per each section or even for the light as a whole and so inside of onyx if we don't have an intensity channel for an led light we're not able to control the intensity individually we would just have color control now when we're working with leds a, a color control is also an intensity control it's an intensity of that color which can get a little confusing right but um, I would advise just turning on this virtual dimmer allows the console to, without using more DMX channels, add that dimmer channel in for you. And while you might say, okay, I'm not going to use intensity much on this particular light, when it comes to working with effects, you're probably going to want it there. And so I do recommend choosing it most of the time. The only time you really don't want to choose it is if you have a color mixing engine of some sort that's added to a light that might be on a dimmer or has an intensity channel somewhere else but more often than not with leds and, and modern lights you're going to want that on auto patch we're going to do eight of these start id is going to be 301 we're going to go to universe three and apply and now we're patched awesome see that wasn't so hard not so painful not bad at all and so now we're going to go ahead and uh, we can see here along the side we can sort by type of fixture and if we need to change anything this is just a spreadsheet it works a lot like other spreadsheets and so we can go in here and we can highlight maybe we need to move these to universe you know 60. okay i can just highlight in that universe column i typed in 60 we see it on our command line here i can press enter and they move it's really that simple now let's move them back awesome everything in this spreadsheet works like this um, the only time you'll see any issues is you'll get a pop-up an error or a warning if you try to uh, jump on some other fixture like if i tried to put these at 201 it's not going to be happy about that but most of the time um, as long as you're not trying to stomp on some other fixture you're going to be great to go here awesome with that guys let's hop in to our next video here in just a second on 2d plan but if you are new here if you haven't uh, checked things out here from learn stage lighting before maybe you're new to lighting maybe you're not then i've got a guide for you to begin with lighting over at learnstagelighting.com so if you're brand new to lighting go check that out it's actually personalized to the type of lighting that you work with and uh, it's over at learnstagelighting.com and in our next video guys we're gonna begin working with our lights beginning with the great almighty 2d plan i'll see you guys there thanks